And now our second winner. I'm delighted to present the 2018 Atkinson Prize in Psychological and Cognitive Sciences to Richard M. Schifrin of Indiana University for his pioneering contributions to the empirical and theoretical investigation of short and long-term memory, controlled and automatic attention, the co-evolution of general knowledge and event memory, and the field of cognitive science. Uh, Dr. Schifrin is widely considered the world's leading scientist studying human memory. He developed a unified theoretical framework that has defined and shaped the field, appearing in every introductory psychology textbook from the 1960s to the present day. And in addition, Dr. Schifrin has made deep, deeply influential contributions to understanding automatic versus controlled information processing, visual priming, implicit learning, and other central aspects of the cognitive sciences. And finally, it's particularly fitting that Dr. Schifrin's own PhD advisor was Richard Atkinson, for whom this award is named, and that their transformative model of human memory was published in 1968, making this year its 50th anniversary. Dr. Shipkin. Well, I'm going to repeat a little of that. <clears throat> I'm very honored by this prize, and particularly because Dick Atkinson was the donor. Dick was, of course, my thesis advisor, and he was a superb scientist. The work we did, as we just said, became famous in the field. Uh, soon after our research collaboration, Dick moved into a series of positions where he did extraordinary service for science, uh, first, for example, directing NSF, and academia, heading UCSD and the University of California system. I would like to think my selection honors him as much as me. I thank my wife, Judith Mai, for making it possible for me to do my research by handling almost all my affairs. Thank my children for putting up with me. My brother Stephen, who's sitting down there, for our many conversations as children, pacing back and forth in opposite directions, driving our parents to distraction. I give uh, credit to my students and postdoctoral trainees, several of whom are members of this academy, on whose backs I have built my career. Now, I must touch on a matter that is highlighted by the extraordinary research accomplishments of the others who have been honored today, a stellar group that represents a much larger number of scientists producing groundbreaking research. These accomplishments provide a striking contrast to the publicity given to the so-called reproducibility crisis in science. Such publicity places a spotlight on the worst of science and misleads many to believe science is broken. We need to place the focus on the best of science, communicating the immense strides science is making and the immense good science is doing for society. And I think each of us should try to find ways to contribute to that effort and that message. Thank you. <laughs> 